temperatures have been wild right. over the last several weeks, and we're not the only ones as humans uh, realizing it. It's also impacting our plants and our leaves. Yeah, absolutely. Here and, and across the country, we've been seeing this abnormally warm weather, in part in partially due to the La Nina that we've had mm -hmm. over the past three years. But yeah, the National Phenology uh, Network here, which basically looks at the warming temperatures and its uh, impacts that we have from those warming temperatures on plants and even animals, they found that our springs are arriving earlier for a lot of the country. Absolutely. They have what's called the first leaf and the first bloom index, and they're specifically looking at lilacs and honeysuckles. One, because they're typically the first to leaf and bloom, but two, they're found in nearly every state. So by leafing, we're talking about the little buds and the sprouts, and then obviously the blooms being the flowers. But looking at both leaf and blooms, we're starting things off real early across the South. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, you can get this up on our website, cakesand.com, uh, but it's a really cool image. It, sh it actually updates each and every day to show the progression of the anomaly, the, the difference from average here of just how early spring is arriving. So the earlier uh, than normal is in the red shade later than normal, which you don't see that much of mm -hmm. is in the blue shades there. But yeah, we've seen some really almost record breaking uh, early days of the start of spring for, for much of the Mid-Atlantic, the Ohio Valley, um, even here in Central Texas, we've seen uh, the arrival of spring by as much as days to even weeks ahead of schedule. Right, some of those darker maroon colors you see here indicating 15 to 20 days earlier, these plants and these flowers are leafing. So obviously if they're leafing earlier, they probably tend to bloom earlier. And that brings us to this map. You can see the same kind of pattern here of the plants and the flowers and the trees and the shrubs all leafing and blooming earlier in the south, whereas out towards the desert southwest and into up to California, where they're seeing some of the coldest winter temperatures they've ever seen on record. It's a little bit of a delayed start to spring. Yeah, that's right. And again, on a daily basis, you'll kind of see this progress uh, northward. The, the bloom will always follow uh, again, what you saw on the, the last graphics. So a little bit of a lag time here, but uh, really cool to see. And yeah, as you said it best, I mean, it really has to deal with the, the temperatures that we saw in the months leading up to the uh, spring bloom. But yeah, overall, on average, our springs are arriving a little bit earlier and earlier for yeah. much of the country. And what's interesting about this is, you know, once they bud and once they bloom, that's it. They don't go that's back. Right. So it's like once it happens, it's like, OK, spring is here. So if you see those really warm temperatures like we did in February of 80s and 90s, our plants are thinking, OK, it's time. Let's do this. And then when we see a cold spell like we do in March, then they're thinking, uh oh, what's right. happening to all my plants out there? Hey, Sean wrote a blog on this. You can find it right now on our website, cakesagain.com.